On Friday, May 1st, Governor Holcomb issued his back on track roadmap for reopening Indiana. What does this mean for us as the church in the Diocese of Gary? It means we'll need some time to absorb all that he has written and to be able to make sure that we can appropriately plan for the eventual reopening of our public liturgy. But my brothers and sisters, we want to get this right, not rushed. And so our COVID-19 liturgy task force is reviewing all that's been presented and will revise our guidelines so that we can begin to plan for the eventual reopening of public liturgy. For now, however, we have to maintain the status quo. This means as we review the governor's latest guidelines, we will continue the prohibition on the public celebration of the mass. We look forward to the day when we can return to celebrating the mass, but that day isn't here quite yet. However, I do want to get you prepared, get all of us prepared, because there are some things that are already quite clear in what the governor has written and in what public health guidelines call us to do. So when we return to the public celebration of the mass, we'll have to be patient. We'll have to be patient with each other and patient as we learn some new ways of entering into the holy sacrifice of the mass. What are some things we should be ready for? First of all, it's likely that we will be wearing masks. That is new for us. It also means that we'll need to practice social distancing, staying further apart than we typically do in the normal, we may say, celebration of the Mass. And yet we'll be adopting some new protocols to make sure that we keep proper social distancing. In addition, it's clear that Governor Holcomb has issued a preference, a strong preference for the continued virtual services, live streaming. Also, it's quite clear that he has asked and prudence requires that those aged 65 and over and those who are in higher risk groups should for the time being stay in their home setting, at least until May 24th. The Holy Eucharist is the source and summit of our Catholic faith. It's gonna take some patience and we're gonna need a little bit of time to make sure we get this right. But I'm confident that with the Lord's guidance, we will. We look forward to the celebration of the Eucharist. I hunger for that public celebration, as do all of you I know. But I ask for your patience, I ask for your cooperation. And I do wanna let you know that we expect to have our revised guidelines ready within the next week, we would hope. And so I'll return and give you an update on where things stand. In the meantime, thank you for your patience as we keep the status quo for a bit longer, preparing for a future full of hope. My brothers and sisters, let us call for the continued intercession of Our Lady of Lords to pray for us, to give us comfort, healing, strength, and wisdom. Jesus, I trust in you.